Welcome to Mac Helpers. In this video, we're going to go over the paintbrush tool and numbers. So let's go ahead and open up a, a blank document. And so when you first open it up, you're going to see pretty much just like a normal blank spreadsheet. And now let's go ahead and just kind of add, let's just quickly add some text. So to do that, just double tap. Um, let's add some numbers, switch over to the text one. And I'm going to go over more of this stuff later, but I just wanted to show you kind of what we're doing uh, just to kind of give you an example of all the stuff that you can do with it. So let's go ahead and click, uh, let's go and tap and highlight that box and let's go ahead and click the plus button. Or not the plus button, I'm sorry, the paintbrush tool. So let's starting off on the left, the table. Now this is gonna actually adjust how the table on the spreadsheet looks. So uh, this one's got all kind of all grays with a, a darker gray head, a header, uh, header row, then a lighter gray uh, column row, and then we see how we can change that there. Now this just gives you different options to do. So let's go ahead and go a little bit deeper and go into table options. So you can see how the, it says table one there. You can actually change that, turn it on or off. Table outline. It's kind of harder to see on this uh, just in terms of the size, but let's scroll down here and see now watch what I did there with that in terms of the table outline. See how that bar along the bottom? It just kind of puts a box around the, the table. And uh, then alternating alternating rows, See how it just changes it from a light gray to dark gray. It just it's just an easier way to kind of look at your data. Now we can go under grid options, and then you can turn off the horizontal lines, header column lines. Then you can look at vertical rows, and see I'm just kind of going back and forth. And you can really manipulate how the the table actually looks. So let's go back here, go back again, and so that's basically it for that for the table section. Now let's go under headers. So you can add more header rows. You can add footer rows. You can add more columns, header columns there. Move them all together. You can freeze rows and what that, what's that going to do is just lock that one into place. So you can turn that off or turn it on and that's pretty much basically it for the headers. And really the best thing to do is just kind of play around with it. Once you kind of get some data in there or whatever, just kind of mess around with it. It's really easy to go through and go back to previous uh, versions of it. So go back to go to cell. And so now I have this specific cell selected. Let's go ahead and click that. Now you're under cell. So now watch that little column with the 6431643. Turned it bold, italics, underline, strike through. So those are just kind of the basic things right there. So let's keep it bold. Let's go to... A left centered justification, right right justified, centered, and then the ones right below there is top, middle, center. It doesn't really it doesn't really change it that much because of the size here, and I'm gonna go over this more later, but just to show you kind of what's going on with it, you see the center of the cell versus the top of the cell, and you got your fill color. You can turn it black, white, gray, or you can switch over to more colors. Pretty much however you really want to do it, whatever makes the most sense for that for the particular style of document or whatever you're doing. Now this is just talking about the borders of the actual cell. So if let's say you had several different ones selected, it's going to put an outline around it, or just maybe um, outline across the top only, middle. Go back to that again. Just strictly left center. Set default border. Okay, there it goes. So before it wasn't really doing it right. So now see how it's got just the bottom right and left on there? That's what I was doing there on that border style. You do a full outline or just go ahead to set default. And that's kind of what the default table is when you first selected that table. Now let's go into uh, the wrap text and cell. So it looks better here, it worked better there. So when you do that, what it's doing is going to make it so that it's going to line up, it's going to stay within the parameters of the width of that box. So it's just going to stack it on top of each other. Turn it off, it puts it next to it. See how it does that? And the last one we're going to go under is format. Now this is really important if when how you're playing, whatever kind of data you're really trying to display. So let's say you're working with percentages. You're going to want to pick number, or actually percentage, I'm sorry. And if you're working with uh, like a, a financial document, you probably want to change it to currency. And then you can always hit the the I for information. But that's going to allow you to manipulate it more. So you could turn it up to five, six, however many decimal points, a separator, accounting style. Uh, let's go back under. Let's click select this one and change that to currency. 
and let's go ahead and add decimal points. See how it adds those there? Separator. See, that's just adding commas in there for that counting style. And then you can change what kind of currency you're using. So Euro changes the symbol there. Take that off. And then it just kind of allows you more options there. That, and that's pretty much it for the format section. And you can just hit automatic, and it will kind of automatically adjust it for however kind of whatever you've done previously in the document. And that's basically it for the the details brush. You go ahead and click that again. Pretty much whatever you're selecting, it's going to give you different options. So right, right now, since I'm only on the table header, it's going to only bring up text options because that's all I really need for that section. You can see you move it across the top or put it on the bottom, justify it, right, center, left, I mean left, right, center, text options, Increase the text size. Let's go back so you can actually see that. Put it back in the center there. Increase the table size. Change the font color. Change the actual font itself. And like Apple always does, they give you a ton of different ways because Steve Jobs definitely loved being able to change way something looks. And that's basically it for the paintbrush tool. If you have any questions, definitely email us at info at yourmachelpers.com or the best way is go to our website, yourmachelpers.com and click the help link. And you'll be able to submit us a question. Somebody from the Mac Helpers team will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again.